residents of independence layout of Nigeria breweries in about now live in panic and anxiety due to the escalation of erosion in the area. The erosion had pulled down buildings and fence walls and had left people whose houses were close to the gully literally carrying their hats in their palms with some abandoning their homes for safety. One of such buildings at the brink of collapse due to the erosion is the Assemblies of God Church building located in the locality. Speaking to Real FM, the pastor in charge of the church, Prince Okoro, appealed to the authorities to come to the aid while narrating the efforts the church and the resident had put in to arrest the situation to no avail. Since uh, last year, it has been hectic in this place. Last year, I was off around October. I was being called that our fence has collapsed. I rushed from Omaya to Abba because I was always already on my way back to Abba. When I got there, the whole place was collapsed. And surely, <clears throat> I saw the erosion, as you can see. Though it was not like this, we were able to gather money with the church. We gathered money and we raised the whole place, filled up this place. The place was filled up. We spent something around a million and last year. And we thought we have already did a nice job that the thing will just end up. It was quite unfortunate that this year, since uh, the rain season, actually this one happened at the same point in time, October. That was October 9th. Before we could come back, the whole of the place has collapsed. And uh, our house cracked. Nobody slept in the house again. And... Uh, we were able to remove our tank up here. Our tank, we were able to remove it because the whole place, there was no place to sleep. And so since then, we have, we have communicated with the Chief uh, uh, uh We have also told him about it. He now has not come for now. We communicated with the Commissioner of uh, uh, Environment. And... Uh, they actually told us that they are doing some plans on how to do some palliative here. But up till now, nothing has been done. As you can see, this place, nobody is living there. The other one, up there, nobody is living there. It is like this on the water side. And my own, we are almost off the place. This place is being vacated. And uh, that's actually the situation now. No child is allowed to come through this place. And it has even affected our service much because many of our members feeling that the way we contributed last year, we will continue to contribute in the same manner so that and uh, they are telling us it's government. But no government is forthcoming. And that's how we have found it till now. We are calling on the government. We are calling uh, good spirited Nigerians, philanthropists, to come over to this place to help us. The church is the hope of the nation, and the church is the conscience of the nation. And uh, we can't afford to continue living in this place as it is now. We also want the companies here, Nigerian Braveries, the Pfizer, the companies at Aba Textiles. And uh, the, the other uh, company there, Let, they are the cause of these things because they have closed the drainages there. And the whole thing that is coming there, the whole flood is coming from that place. Like as if there was a serious place that was opened. And these houses, there is drainage up there and the thing is blocked. And since the thing is blocked by the houses that are built there, and that's the reason why these things are like this. It is like this you know, down there. Most of the people are vacated. So we want a, an urgent intervention. If it could be palliative. Or actually, when we called somebody last two weeks, last week, we invited a contractor who charged us just from that end to this place. He said it will cost us over five, I mean five million naira. We have asked to pay to, he rejected it, and we can do another thing. 
So we are asking for help from the Nigerians and the government. Though the government told us, so I, we were told that this is federal government concern. That is not even for the state. That anything in Gali is federal government. But we are still begging them. They can do an intervention and still go back and collect the money because it is an intervention. Thank you.